What's up, everybody? How y'all doing? Another video from Dre King James. And um, I've been, uh, I, I, I totally dissing myself to talk about Dr. D, the disrespect. I'm, why it's so dark in here? Sit, hold on, let me go over here. How about if I... Go in front of the light. Yeah, okay, it's better. How y'all doing? Um, <clears throat> sis, don't look at the closet doors open, all right? All it is is a bunch of clothes and shit in there. But anyway, um, yeah, I mean, Dr. Disrespect, as, after I know and a lot of people know why he was <clears throat> booted off of Twitch, I thought he cheated on his wife real bad or whatever and it became a scandal. But nah, this this became a lot of disturbing shit coming out of the... And, and, I, and I liked Dr. Disrespect. I, I liked his energy. When he be playing COD, normally, there's the only games I see him play is COD. He, he plays a, like a plethora of other games, but normally COD. But, you know, uh, I, 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 I'm not subscribed to him or anything like that. There's some things that um, he, he comes on to my feed, and then I'm like, oh, wow, Dr. Disrespect is on. You know what I'm saying? And I watch the stream sometimes. But, wow. Apparently, YouTube demonetized the channel. I'm like, good for you too. And, you know, it's kind of sad that Dr. Disrespect got uh, uh, EDP'd. <laughs> oh, man. But uh, it is what it is, man. So I got this article from The Verge. Uh, YouTube is stopping Dr. Disrespect channel from making money. The streamer recently confirmed he was banned from Twitch in 2020 following inappropriate messages sent to a minor. Okay, so uh, Dr. Disrespect YouTube channel has been demonetized in a statement to The Verge. Uh, YouTube spokesperson Nicole Bell wrote, We have suspended monetization on Dr. Disrespect channel for violating our creator responsibility policy. Um, policy. Bell also wrote that Dr. Disrespect has been suspended from YouTube Partner Program following serious allegations against the creator. The allegations refer to multiple reports that the streamer whose real name is Guy Bean was banned from Twitch in 2020 due to inappropriate messages sent to a minor through Whispers, a Twitch communication app which Bean was banned Neither he nor Twitch explained the reason, leaving it a mystery for four years. Late last week, however, Cody Connors, a former Twitch employee, posted on X the alleged reason for Beam's ban. He got banned because God caught sexting a minor and then existing Twitch Whispers product. Connors wrote he was trying to meet up with her at TwitchCon. The Verge was able to collaborate Connor's post with information from the second ex Twix employee who was on the trust and safety team at the time of the incident. In Bloomberg report, two more Twix employees also came forward to collaborate the allegations after Connor's tweet being denied the accusations posting, uh, posting on X. This has been settled no wrongdoing was acknowledged, and they paid out the whole contract, referring to a financial dispute being settled against Twitch back in 2021. However, the multiple, as multiple brands, including Turtle Beach and Midnight Society, a game studio being co-founded, uh, began to distance themselves from the creator. Beam took to social media again to defend himself. Where well, their Twitch whisper messages with an individual minor back in uh, 2027, the answer is yes. Beam wrote on X saying that those messages sometimes lean too much in the direction of being inappropriate. Beam closed the statement by saying that he planned to take an extended vacation but will eventually return to streaming after getting banned from Twitch. Beam started a YouTube channel in August 2020 that currently boasts over 4 million subscribers. In a report for Rolling Stone, 
R Ryan Wyatt, a former head of YouTube Gaming's partnership, said that YouTube declined to give Beam a partnership deal when he joined the platform because of rumors surrounding his exit from Twitch. Partnership deals like the kind enjoyed by other YouTuber creators like Valkyrie and Dr. Lupo uh, would have granted Beam access to special YouTube resources and monetization features as well as ad revenue sharing. Because of these rumors, there was no reason to entertain doing any deal with Beam, Riot said to the Rolling Stone. So, shit. His YouTube, his, his streaming career is basically over. Um, I mean, look, kids is off limits. If you're a fucking grown-ass man, you should, you should try to fornicate with a 23-year-old or some shit. At least that, that person is legal. Kids are off limits if you have any kind of sense. You know what I'm saying? Because you don't want to... If that word gets out and you are a pedo, that's, that shit's crazy. Oh, my God. Anyway, do you feel sorry for Nick, Nick Bean? Who, who is the fuck's Nick Bean? Oh, yeah, that fucker on... That one Martin Lawrence movie. Anyway, <laughs> you feel sorry for him? No. Don't feel sorry for that fucker. He's trying to fondle a kid. He's trying to... Why would you use whispers? I never used that shit because I always thought whispers was a little... Oops, shit. I always thought whispers was a little sketchy. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's not really a... Like a... Like a DM uh, a platform on Twitch. Even though... If, if it is... This is where he fucked up. He used um, a messaging app within Twitch. Of course, if you're big enough or any any person, doesn't matter how big or small you are on the platform, Twitch can see that shit. They own the fucking software within the platform. They can see that shit. So he wasn't really being discreet with it. He's just... He thought it was discreet because it's called whispers, I guess. I'm not sure. But anyway, that's it. Hit that like button. Social media links will be down in the description box below. Want to see more of my videos? Hit that subscribe button. Right beside the subscribe button is the um, the bell notification, so you never ever I don't know. Once I upload, you see it because it notifies you. Anyway, peace out.